Johan Santana makes baseball history with his no-hitter. But the question is, is it the best non-World Series moment in Mets franchise history? Hey everybody, it's Pauly. Welcome back to This Week in Red, where we're talking all things Red Sox and Major League Baseball. So the afterglow continues about Johan Santana's no-hitter the other night at City Field against the St. Louis Cardinals, when he pitched the first no-hitter in the history of the New York Mets, 50 years 8,019 games went by before this event finally occurred. And you know, this is a great baseball story. When you consider the fact the Mets waited so long for this to happen, and so many great pitchers like Tom Seaver, Dwight Gooden, Jerry Kuzman never pitched a no-hitter in a Mets uniform, for Santana to do this and fulfill the promise that he brought to the Mets when he was acquired from Minnesota, that he would be the horse and he would lead the team and the pitching staff, for him to come through with all this and have it happen after an injury-plagued couple of seasons, to me, it's like a fairy tale. And to me, I do believe it might just be the best moment not related to the World Series in the history of the Mets franchise. With so much social media and, you know, being connected to each other at, you know, a moment's notice, this was something that was going on Friday night throughout. I was sitting in the Rogers Center in Toronto watching the Red Sox and Blue Jays, and you could feel the buzz even in that building when you looked at the scoreboard and realized you know, the Cardinals don't have any hits in the sixth inning, in the seventh inning, in the eighth inning, and then finally in the ninth inning to see those zeros still up there, and then to see the final score go up. I mean, a lot of people really were excited around me sitting in Toronto, and it just shows that a franchise like the Mets that's been down for a couple years now, it looks like they're finally on their way back, and Johan Santana was brought to New York to be the guy. Well, he looks like he might just be the catalyst and the guy that leads the Mets back on the uptick and gets them going in a positive direction. So when you add all those things up, and the fact that this is such an isolated great incident with, in the last two to three years of Mets misery, I do believe myself that I think this might just be the best non-World Series moment in the history of the Mets. But if you're a Met fan or a baseball fan, do you agree or disagree with me? Do you think this is the best non-World Series Mets moment? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red.